Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, February 16th. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you're someone that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. First off, a couple clarifications. Number one, the price you see over here will be moving around and changing. Same with that candlestick there, that will be moving around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time, but I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. And then second, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. So stock number one here, PLTR, an absolute monster, not only yesterday, but just that much more continuation. And really the clearest sign of that is that the price was able to push up through this red line here, which in yesterday's video I was talking about. And the question mark going into today was, okay, is this thing gonna you know, get a breakout and get that much more continuation? So for those of you that were watching and you know, watch and waiting to see what would occur, congratulations, you got a very nice move in your favor. So certainly updates need to be made. First update, just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So from more of a broader standpoint, $9.20 is now gonna be that key area of support if there are any sort of pullback. But in terms of next potential battlegrounds, gotta squeeze the chart down here quite a bit, because as you're seeing here, I realize the chart's getting hard to see, but that really just goes to show that it's been a long, whoa, well, wow, long time. Are we gonna, we might have to change time frames here. Yep. So this is a good problem. We're gonna go and change to the daily time frame. I didn't realize it had been this long. So now each one of these candlesticks represents an entire day. But again, good problem to have. Just goes to show that it's been a very, very long time since the price has been down this area or, you know, at this part of the chart. So with the next key level resistance now being at $10.40, is that, and that's coming from back in uh, August of 2022. So we are talking about multi-month highs right now after the big explosion today. But overall, 1040 next key level of resistance and down there at 920 that newest area of support next tmdi very nice move today big volume and yes as i talk i realized that the price has formed this downwards channel here so there is a little bit of perspective that goes into it meaning if you're some sort of day trader flipper scalper whatever you want to call yourself and you bought right there and you wanted to buy and sell within you know 12 minutes well then yes from that perspective the chart looks pretty bad but if you do care about the big picture point of view, well, part of the big picture is throwing out the question, okay, yeah, fair enough, that's true. There is a downwards channel right now. However, what was happening before the downwards channel? And in that situation, you say, wow, there's a huge explosion upwards, which has now given me the ability to draw a bull flag pattern. So if you like penny stocks, if you like bull flag patterns, keep an eye on it. Next one here, T-N-O-N, and this is just a, a crazy one as, I, I don't wanna say all day long, because that's not quite true, but Majority of the day, not a whole lot going on. Yeah, you had a bit of a gap up here. And then you can see th things apparently had died off. And then all of a sudden, the volume returned. Price made a big move upwards. So now you have a lot of interesting dynamics here headed into Thursday, which is what a watch list is all about. To find unique, to find interesting situations, and not randomly rush out and just buy stuff, but to watch it and see how it plays out. And at least in my opinion, when price movements explode in price and explode in uh volume that's that's a worthwhile that's a unique interesting adventure to keep an eye on so as far as areas of resistance are concerned heading into thursday let me make sure i'm not yeah, there we go so going back here you can see that this level up here has been a problem before at two dollars and let's call it 50 cents so again right there you can see rejected the price and then rejected the price so 250 will be that main area of resistance if there are any sort of pullbacks then keep an eye on that pink line down there that 200 period moving average right now valued at a dollar 82 but yeah all in all no doubt about it big volume big price movement let's see if this momentum carries into thursday next one here amc and it's been quite a while since i have not said oh this one put in a new low this thing has finally apparently at least for now bottomed out which i talked about there on Tuesday and then today, very, very impressive follow through. Got up through that purple line, that uh, 50 period moving average, which started off the day, not so good. Like I said, in yesterday's video, that was an area of resistance. You can see opening 30 minutes came right up here, got rejected, not so good. Right there, once again, got rejected. However, when the price, let me just zoom back in here so you can see. But when the price did finally get above it, so like I said, rejected, rejected, but then right here when the price finally did break through that level, have had very, very nice follow through, which just goes back to the that first key rule that I talked about when levels of resistance are broken and close above, you wanna see them act as support. So now moving forward, you wanna see the price stay above that purple line, the 50 period moving average. Right now it's valid at 475, but again, it is a moving average. So that price is gonna move itself. But you know, moving forward, that's no pun intended. That'll be the 
uh, you know, that'll be the key level to watch in terms of from a support standpoint, as far as res levels of resistance, all eyes now going to be up on that pink line there, 200 period moving average currently valued at $5.45. But yeah, no doubt about it. Very, very impressive move today. But let's see if this is indeed the start of a bigger move and potentially some sort of reversal back to the upside. Next one here, RDW. And at this point, not a whole lot to talk about in terms of setups. But going back to the whole idea of you know, you know the point, the philosophy of a watch list to find unique, to find interesting situations and then watch them. And to me, when a price essentially goes straight up and then this is all happening on well above average volume, that's a worthwhile situation to watch. Now, that doesn't mean that a great setup will ever occur, ever occur, but you are getting good price movement, you are getting volume, and as traders, that's what we want. So I'm not saying this will occur, but just hypothetically speaking, maybe this thing pulls down a little bit more and does something like that, where you can once again draw one of those downwards channels, but then when you factor in what's going on beforehand, you could potentially get some sort of bull flag setup. Again, I'm not saying that what is what will happen, but you got enough volume, you got enough volatility where if you like to play this price range, it's certainly worth watching. Real quick, wanted to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online class that I'm offering here very soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you want to learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used to build consistency, to manage risk, then definitely get signed up for the free class. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching at my site, there's an area right there on the webpage you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying, then definitely get signed up for the free class. Next one, SI and just a, a pretty crazy move. I mean, essentially just going straight up right now. But what's getting interesting and the, the thing that I think a lot of people will be watching, so call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. But you got to think a lot of people are watching up right around that $24 mark with the thought of if it can break up through there, that could create just that much more upside buying pressure, especially when it's not guaranteed, but valid to think that there's probably a lot of short-sighted traders that have their stop loss hiding up above that level. So it goes to reason that if the price can push through there, that would therefore set off the short stop loss. And remember, shorts have to buy to exit a trade. So if there's a bunch of shorts up there buying to exit the trade because of the stop losses, that could then create that much more upwards buying pressure. To reiterate, there's no way to guarantee that. But Again, is that at least a plausible? Is it at least a rational thought process to have? In my mind, absolutely. So definitely keep a close eye on $24 as that main area of resistance. If there are any sort of pullbacks of the current move right now, key level to watch gonna be right down there at $19.75. But all in all, very, very impressive move over the past couple of days. Next one here, BZFD. And this is just a good old fashioned classic pattern that you gotta think a lot of people are watching. So as I mentioned previously, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. You know, it's reasonable to think that if the price behaves in certain ways, well, just because people could potentially buy it, especially those that like to play breakout. So as far as the pattern is concerned, and I, you could totally really, or you could totally use that pink line there if you wanted to as part of the pattern. So there's the resistance here. We have the support. Let me change that to green, to represent more so the support dynamic, and then make this all the same color. So again, we have our resistance. We have our support. We have the explosion right there. For you golfers out there, let's make a little bit more visual. We'll put our golf hole down there. So here we have ourselves a bull pennant pattern. So if you like bull pennants, if you like more specifically stocks down below the $5 range, here you go. Next one, TSLA Tesla. And once again, very, very impressive move, especially considering that uh, just a couple of days ago, the thing was down here in the 190s and now it's all the way up to where it is here. But first a little house gonna go, gonna go ahead and get rid of those areas of support as they serve their purpose for now. Uh, but the big dynamic that occurred today is that the price was able to get up through that area of resistance right there. So now it's really just a question of continuation. But this also, I think, could potentially come into play later on. So al along those lines, when levels of resistance are broken, they tend to act as support. So if there is any sort of pullback, I'm very curious to see if there's some sort of movement like this occurs where it pulls back, back tests that tread line, and then gets another leg up. So for my curiosity's sake, I think that level will be, uh, you know, re will remain relevant. So keep uh, worth keeping an eye on. And then in terms of areas of resistance, keep an whoops, there we go. Keep an eye on that level right there, which puts the breakout area right up there, give or take. Let's just call it two hundred and fifteen dollars. So two fifteen, newest key level of resistance. Uh, but all in all, any way you look at it, you can't deny the strength that apparently has returned back to Tesla. Uh, but it's all about that 215-ish mark right now. And um, then nothing really until up around the 225 mark. Next one here, WISH. And going back real quickly to those self-fulfilling prophecy talking points, we have another one of those dynamics here. Because you got to think that a bunch of people are now going to be watching this 98-cent mark right there where you can see the price 
struggled a couple of days ago. And then with this late surge here, once again, got up around that level and could not quite push through. So while I've said many times, there are no guarantees. Is it plausible? Is it valid to think that if the price can come up here and get a break up through that level, that that break in and of itself, even if it's just a self-fulfilling prophecy, could create that much more additional buying pressure? That's absolutely a valid thought to have. So keep an eye on 98 cents from a support, or excuse me, from a resistance standpoint. As far as supports, key level to watch if there are any sort of pullbacks moving forward and be right there around that 86 cent mark. But again, for those of you that like penny stocks and especially those that go from penny stocks to going up above a dollar, uh, that this is sitting right at that territory. So we'll see what happens with it on Thursday. Next one, TQQQ, which is an ETF that measures the NASDAQ. So in other words, if you believe that the NASDAQ market as a whole is going to rise, this one will also rise. Big difference being this just allows you access to participate at a much lower price point, which makes it very uh, popular. And today, a, a good solid day from a technical point of view. I put this trend line in a place and it seemed very significant given it had rejected the price down several times, including this morning once if you look closely right there. But you can see now that the price has come up, broken through it, back to us and is now getting continuation, which always prompts the always exciting question, Hey, is this the start of something even bigger? Is this the start of a breakout of a much bigger move in the NASDAQ now where you know the, the market's gonna get up to these previous highs and then potentially go through it? That, that's plausible, of course, there are no guarantees, but the point here being is that it is a two-sided coin. So while this thing may just roll back over, well, who knows? Maybe this is the start of a much bigger breakout and it keeps on moving higher and higher, which again, goes back to the philosophy of that's what a watch list is all about. Not random buying, but finding unique, finding interesting situations, asking some questions, and then watching and seeing how things behave. So overall today, very, very good day. Got the breakout. Now it's just that question of can it continue to move higher and moving forward, preferably speaking, the price stays up above that purple line there, the 50 period moving average. So that wraps up the top 10. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get signed up for the free training. It'll be very soon, Thursday, February 16th at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there as far as these top 10 videos are concerned. If you enjoy this, if you want me to keep making these, then please do two things for me. Hit the like button, leave a comment down below. As, as long as I know people are enjoying, I will continue to put in the required time, time and effort to get these videos out to you. So get signed up for the class, hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.